Hello! Today I want to discuss Project Vengeful Zebra. But before we get into it, I gotta ask you a question. When you were young, did you ever have a teacher that just didn't seem right? As if the teacher was from another world? And dare I say it, inhuman? Well, you're not alone. Project Vengeful Zebra puts the player in the role of an elementary student who, like us, believes his teacher is an alien. And unlike you and me, he plans to prove it. In this dark and humor-filled game, you must collect evidence during class while being mindful not to be caught. To keep the game suspenseful, the game will be in first person. You'll find yourself in a large-scaled classroom that makes you feel small. And more importantly, the view perspective will keep the player on their toes as it is crucial to mind your surroundings at all times and first person limits field of view. Some of the actions the player will need to do while moving about the classroom is locating items that can be used to help you distract the teacher. These items can then be used in puzzle-like setups with specific classmates. If done right, this can set off a chain of scripted events that ultimately will distract the teacher long enough for you to get your hands on that alien proof. One example may be that the player finds a broken pencil. He replaces the broken pencil with one of his fellow classmates. When the NPC sees that his pencil is broken, he will get up and go to the sharpener. This will cause a fair amount of noise and draw the teacher's attention. The ultimate goal of the player is to collect as much proof as they can over five different days of class. Collect enough evidence and you just might get people to believe you. The rules are simple. The game will take place in class, with each following day increasing the difficulty and varying the setups needed to collect all of the evidence. The player will only have a short amount of time to collect as much evidence as they can before class is dismissed. The player cannot be caught out of their seat or they will be forced to return to their desk and given a warning. If you get busted three times, then you'll be sent to the principal's office and have to try again on the following day. The main anti-force for the player is the teacher and her line of sight. There is also an occasional tattletale located amongst your classmates, and they are sure to rat you out if they see you doing anything suspicious. Lastly, time will always be looming over the player, as you move carefully and with purpose to get your hands on a clue. Some of the decisions the player may make is how they choose to move towards each clue. As the game will allow the player to move freely about the room, the path they choose may increase or lower difficulty of getting a clue. There will also be choices in each setup. Using the right setup at the right time can make the world of difference. Project Vengeful Zebra is much like a game of red light, green light. Carefully knowing when to move and when to sit tight is key to victory. It also lends comparison to the stealth survival horror game Hello Neighbor, due to the use of similar mechanics like avoiding enemies' line of sight and using distractions to draw them away. What makes Project Vengeful Zebra different is in its puzzle-like setup mechanic. Having the right item in the right place at the right time in order to set off a chain of events much like a Rube Goldberg machine. One instance of gameplay puts a clue on the teacher's desk at the front of the room. After the player notices the pattern of movement from the teacher, he can take a direct route and use timing to grab the clue while she isn't looking. Another instance with the same setup shows an empty desk near the front row. The player can move quickly up to the empty desk while the teacher isn't moving and take a seat. Wait for the teacher to turn around and she doesn't notice him, but the player knows that she may catch on if he stays there too long in the wrong seat. So the player uses a spitball shooter to draw the attention of the teacher and grabs the clue and makes his way back to the desk. The risks that may accompany this project are in the choices to go with first person perspective. While it does align with the theme of the game, it could add too much difficulty when it comes to minding your surroundings. A simple solution would be to focus on a solid HUD that relays pertinent information to the player at all times without being too obstructive. A good example would be the Skyrim Stealth Meter, where an eye icon slowly opens as you become noticed and fully opens when you are in plain sight. Thank you for your time and I hope you've enjoyed this quick overview of Project Vengeful Zebra.